is that if you you don't have to be any of those things if you're interested in the other person. Mm. They'll provide enough to be interested in if you merely pay attention to what it is they're saying. Mm -hmm. So what it is that I'm doing is I'm not paying I'm paying more attention to myself. That's it. And my feelings than the other person. That's right. So you you cannot get intimate because you don't reach out of yourself. Mm -hmm. The first thought you had is that you wanted to reach out more, and the way you reach out more is not to help other people, but to find out what it is they're coming from, what they're saying, what they're feeling, what they're about. Mm -hmm. So you ask those questions, and you find out what um, they have to say. Hmm. Is that news to you? Is that what? News to you? No, not really. Why didn't you do this? Why haven't you known this? Um, I don't really know. I guess I, I'm so wrapped up in my own rejection. I think that they won't... I don't know. I think I'm... Don't go from that. That's the whole thing. You're so wrapped up in your rejection. Yeah. Yeah. How that's been the story of your life, right? Yeah, it has. It has. Yeah. Haven't you learned by now that no one notices? Hmm. I mean that they, they don't read. Who's rejected you? No one rejects you, isn't that right? Yeah. Well, I think my family does to a certain degree. Ah, what do you mean? Um. Well, I guess I was always the family scapegoat, you know, and so. You go through the world expecting the same thing. Yeah, I do. I do. David, but I don't... I, like I said, I didn't know how to deal with that. I had to... Well, the first thing you have to do is forgive your family. Hmm. Because if you don't forgive your family, it means you're carrying around all that hurt and anger, and that only gets in the way of you and other people, because you expect rejection in order to work through your sense of being rejected from the past. Mm -hmm. It's like exercising a muscle. You felt rejected in the past. You couldn't admit that. So what you do is you find situations in the present that reject you mm -hmm. in order to deal with the feeling in the past. Have you told your parents how you feel? Yeah, I try, but it's like they gloss over it. Like, it's as if it didn't exist, you know. Well, the point is you've got to get to some sense of peace with them. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do about that? Um... I'd like to talk to them, but, I, but it's the same thing usually happens, you know. Why don't you write them a long letter? Uh-huh. And yeah. give it to them? Or mail it um, for them to actually read it? Sure. Mm -hmm. Tell them what hurts and wh how rejected you felt and why. And tell them that the object of the letter is to make peace so that you can forgive them and that you can go on with your life and be, feel free about yourself and feel more comfortable and not ha have the feeling that every relationship that you get into is a source of potential rejection because you, you're solving the problem at its source. Mm -hmm. It's a risk. Yeah, that's true. Can and once I do that, it's just going to... Is it going to disappear, so to speak? Or? It'll start getting better. Uh -huh. The pain will have a chance to heal because you'll have started to let it out. You cannot hold in pain for any length of time and expect it to get better. Pain incubates and grows, festers, and causes you to be the anger that you are holding. The wind...